Hello and welcome to Narcolepsy Pumpkin. I'm Andy and this is Aurora. So, so far we've done solid principles. Those aren't the only principles of object-oriented design. Welcome to episode 6, the release reuse equivalency principle. The granule of release is equivalent to the granule of reuse. So if you simply think of that granule as a group of classes, so in the classic um, Java sense, it would be a jar file. So something you'd import into another application or another part of your application and something that gets reused. In the modern day C Sharp ecosystem, we're probably talking about NuGet packages. It's an element that can be released and reused by other parts of the system, but is maintained separately and independently, thus decoupling the whole ecosystem of your application it also allows the things that aren't changing particularly frequently, but are commonly reused to sit separately from the rest of the code that is changing on a regular basis. So as applications get bigger and they get more complex, having a way of grouping things together into libraries and deciding on that granularity of reuse is an important high level structure. In this very, very short and brief episode, we've covered the release reuse equivalency principle. So hope to see you next time for episode seven, the common closure principle.